It's Monday evening and I just got home from work about an hour ago. If it if I look really hot, it's because I am. I just finished redoing my monitor setup because I had one of those like arms that you attach to your desk that have like two arms and then you can put your monitors on it. But the arms were like digging into my desk and causing it to start breaking and I couldn't could not have them up anymore. They were just too heavy. So I had to take them off the desk and the arms and put the stands back on them and then rearrange everything on my desk again so that it would all fit. And I think I have a good, a good setup now. Um, I did want to show you, I got my Ulta order in, um, because I had a gift card for Christmas from my friend Autumn. So I picked up a few things. It's a very small. I needed to, to get a new lower lash mascara and I really miss the Wet n Wild. It is skinny mascara. So this is what I'm using on the lower lash lines right now. And then I wanted to try the uh, Flower Zoom In Ultimate Mascara. It's very similar in wand to the Pacifica Dream Big because it twists on the top and then it telescopes out. So I really wanted to try and see what the formula was like on this. And then um, the big purchase that I got was I got a new Z palette for uh, all of my pretties for your face stuff <laughs> that I'm starting to get in. Um, I actually got to be the top selling rep for December so I am creating my own highlighter which I'm super excited about. I already told her what I wanted so she's working on it right now to uh, see if she can do what I wanted. But I also have to still buy Kara's highlighter, um, which I think is called I Do What I Want. <laughs> still have to get that one. And um, the, uh, she just announced, uh, Meg from Pretty For Your Face just announced that she is doing a Hamilton highlighter palette. I am so excited. <laughs> Because the Hamilton palette is one of my favorites and the highlighter is also one of my favorites. Let me find it. So the Hamilton highlighter is this one right here. And it is one of my favorites. It's so good. So, um, yeah, I needed a new Z palette. Because, especially because Oogie's kid, this one right here, is like humongous. So, um, yes. I, and then I have this one, which is actually a, pal a Z palette from her. Like a magnetic palette, not a Z palette. And it has two shadows and a blush. So I wanted to move the blush into the other Z palette and have this one be just shadows. I'm kind of a compartmentalist like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did also want to show you the freebie that I got, but I haven't yet. This water bottle, which is glass, came as a freebie for spending a certain amount of money. So I got that as well. Um, not that I don't, I don't really need a water bottle, but it's really pretty. And I thought maybe I would put it into a, um, giveaway because I've been accumulating stuff for giveaway. Um, so yeah. What else do I need to tell you? Oh, so uh, I, you know, more in my weight loss journey, I have lost 40 pounds to date since my surgery, which is awesome. I seem to be losing about two pounds a week, which is very healthy, apparently. <laughs> that's what you should be doing. Um, so I'm I'm super excited that that's going. I can tell that my clothes are fitting looser. And I was telling some girls in one of my groups that every 20 pounds I lose, I'm going to buy a Disney t-shirt or a geeky t-shirt of some kind. So I just have, you know, I, I, I did it at 40 pounds a lot. So I'll do it at 60 pounds, 80 pounds, 100 pounds, as much as I go. Um... I am probably going to lose at least 100 pounds, uh, more than likely, if not 120. But um, I have really, in most of my life, I have never weighed less than about 240 pounds. Um, even in high school, I didn't. And I was kind of skinny in high school, even though I was a size 14. I was kind of skinny. Um, so I know that I'm going to lose lose 100 pounds at least so that I can be around that range because I was over 300 before and I can't believe I was. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm really hoping that um, that'll help with my leg problems as well. It won't totally because I am... I'm kind of disabled in my ankle and my knee a little bit, but it will help a lot, so it won't hurt. So that is what is up on Monday. I still have 
a YouTube video to edit and upload tonight. Ugh. And I have some auctions I have to f get ready. So, <sighs> yeah, that. <laughs> um, and then Marshall is supposed to get off like at maybe 10 and my husband gets off at 11. So I'm here by myself for a little while, which is nice because I can eat when I want and not have to deal with distractions. So that's a beautiful thing too. So I'm doing what the rest of the world is doing right now and watching tidying up <laughs> while I'm tidying up. Um, I had that organizer and I figured out like something popped in my head. I had been using it to store my underwear, but I'm probably going to end up purchasing another one because I'm using that one for, I, I decided to start putting my socks in there. Because I couldn't see my socks. Like, I had them in these, like, little bags. But, like, I couldn't see what I had. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just start by organizing my socks. So I have all of my long socks here. And my, like, shorter socks here. And then these are all my, like, footy socks. You know, the ones that, like, are no-show socks. Those are all here. And then I have this pair of socks, which my mother gave me for Christmas and they look exactly like the paws of my cat. It's it's so funky. It's, they're, they're really weird socks and they actually kind of, they both is, make me laugh and creep me out at the same time. Uh, so there's that. So now I'm going to go through and fold all my underwear and see if my husband will pick me up another one of these when he goes to Target on Wednesday. And that way I could have... A place where I can see all of my stuff and just really have it laid out. Yes, I have a really weird collection of socks. Because, like, the the ones that, like, these are, these ones right here, these are all Star, Star Wars ones that I got in the advent calendar in 2017. And then these ones, and then, like, these ones that are, like, kind of holidays are the ones I got in the advent calendar this year. But... Um, I have no, like, regular socks. It's just really, it's, it's kind of random and strange. Like, I don't, I don't even really, like, have plain black socks or plain white socks. I just, I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe, like, maybe, if this makes sense to you at all, comment down below. Let me know I'm not a weirdo for having, like, no real socks. And I'm 42. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Also, I do have to say that as as much as I didn't think it was going to be an enjoyable experience folding, because I hate folding clothes, I actually look forward to coming in here and folding these things to make them more organized so I can fit. I don't I don't even understand the phenomena that is I'm going to fold my stuff. Usually Corey folds all the laundry. But now since we're doing this trifold thing, it's harder for him to do it. So now I'm probably going to have to fold my old laundry. Because I still haven't taught him how to do his shirts. We're going to tackle his shirts like another time. But <laughs> I don't know why I feel so happy that I just folded all this stuff right now. This is so counterintuitive. Do you guys feel like that? Like, have you guys watched the show and then do you feel like that? It's Tuesday morning, January 8th. This week has already started off kind of weird. Um, last night, Marshall was supposed to be off at like 10. And so I was just waiting up for him just in case something happened and he didn't get home in a timely manner so I could go pick up Corey at 11. And if he got home in time, then he would pick him up. So I get this text message that his bike has been stolen and uh, they looked at the cameras and they saw who did it, but there's nothing they can really do about it. Um, so I had to go pick him up and then pick Corey up so I didn't get to sleep as much as I wanted last night. But we were kind of trying to figure out if there was a positive about the whole situation. And we think it is. We think that, you know, he's just going to walk to work and then like rent those scooter bikes. I don't know if you guys have it around your town, but we have these green scooter bikes from Lime, this is what the company is called, and you can just rent them for like a dollar plus 15 cents per minute. And he, it basically takes him 20 minutes to get to work. So that's not going to be a lot of money for him to just 
take the bike or walk. Um, so that's what he's going to do. And then we'll just pick him up like at night and whatever. So, um, I mean, I, I think inevitably it could be a good thing. Um, positive thing. We didn't really have a place in the apartment to keep the bike. We'd been keeping it in the spare room, but if we ever have anyone move in, um, there would be no room for that bike anywhere. So I think it is a good thing. We also talked to the office about getting him a bike rack outside and they were looking into it. So I don't know what's happening with that. Anyway, um, it's Tuesday. Going to, going to work. This is going to be the longest week ever because it's the only week in January that I have to work a full week because last week was New Year's. Next week, I'm taking a day off for uh, a little outing that we have planned. And then the week after that is Martin Luther King Day. So this is legitimately going to be the longest week all month, I think. So um, I just sit here and look forward to the fact that we are traveling on Saturday and going to St. Augustine, which is my happy place. And Christmas is not quite over because we're going to see the lights there. And it's just always such a good time. I just can't wait. Good morning. It is Thursday, January 10th. I haven't really been vlogging for a couple days because a lot of the things we had to do were like errands. Um, I went to see my oncologist yesterday and um, he thinks everything is okay, but they saw a spot that they had to do a biopsy for, so they're not really... 100% sure that all the cancer is gone, but I'll, he says it's probably just scar tissue and it's nothing to worry about. So I'm not really like worried about it. I'm just super tired and I'm just a little annoyed this morning. Um, the weather went from like 70 degrees to like 40 degrees in a day. And my body hates that. <laughs> because of the fibromyalgia, it just hates it. So I just woke up feeling really annoyed because my body was like slogging through mud. Um, I just like the cold. So if it could just stay cold, that would be great, but it just doesn't want to do that. So yesterday after I went to the uh, doctor, I went to work and then we went to Trader Joe's and went shopping and came home and watched some lemony snicket and then I basically passed out um, the rest of this week is probably not going to be that exciting because we all have this really funky work schedules and we're trying to get ready, but this weekend, um, we are going to St. Augustine, which means it will be its own little vlog, but, um, I'll post that up separately. The question I have for you guys is, it just seems like since the new year, viewership has been even worse than normal and I don't really understand it um I don't know if it's YouTube or if it's just people are busy or what's happening um I mean I've been doing this channel for almost five years and I guess it's a little disconcerting to me that people just stopped you know like I put a lot of work in this channel and like people put a lot of work into all their channels um you know we're very thoughtful about what the content is we're very good about researching you know what is being done but what is being overdone and not doing that not doing what everyone else is doing trying to do interesting things for people and it just seems like people are not responding as well as we thought um but we're still gonna keep going we're still gonna keep with it and give it a chance but it just seems like you know even though people are very vocal about the fact that they don't want to see the same old like review time and time and time again when you do something different like you do an indie brand or something like that it just seems like people don't watch it so the words and the actions don't match and it kind of was very confusing to me <laughs> I guess it's always been like that you know, people say one thing and do another. Um, I guess it just goes along with my really frustrated mood this morning. 
So I hope that work doesn't cause me to be more frustrated, to be honest. If you guys do see the like, okay, I want to tell you something. You guys see right here, I have this like crease in my eye. And I'll, like every time I used to like think that I just wasn't blending my eyeshadow correctly and it's literally because there's almost like a scar like crease. It's not a scar, but it's like a scar like crease that like causes the shadow to like not go right there. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. How's it going? It is Thursday night. Marshall had kind of a hard day at work, so we ended up getting dinner out, came home, watched some stuff, but I wanted to show you a couple things I got in the mail. So the first thing is my Ipsy Glam Plus. We no longer get bags in our boxes, so I'll just pull it out. The first thing I got is the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty, which I love this. I love this stuff. I got, what is this, Hanale Sugar Lip Scrub. Ooh, I love a good lip scrub. I got the Vasanti Matte Crush Lipstick Pencil. Oh, it came with a, it comes with a sharpener even. That's what it looks like. Ooh, that's kind of a nice shade. Wander Beauty Mascara, I have this already and I am not a fan. Ico Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. I have this also and it's a good backup, but again, it's not really my thing. Hey Honey, Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. Ooh, I kind of like that. I wonder what it has in it. Buckthorn Oil, Sea Buckthorn Oil, Amino Acids, Honey Vitamin E. Ooh, this will be great. Okay. And then lastly, it has a palette which is Violet Voss, which I've never tried Violet Voss, so that's exciting. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. It's got kind of a cardboard packaging, which I guess is okay. So it's fun sized. It's a magnetic closure, and that is what the inside looks like. Um, I have to say, it looks like a very nice collection of shadows. It looks like there is four, five mattes and five shimmers. That's not bad. In fact, I think this will make a very good travel sized size one to take also so that is everything that I got and okay with it like the serum the palette the lip scrub the first aid beauty and the lip product actually yeah, that's five things that's pretty nice pretty nice I'm not I'm not bad I'm not sad about it um the other thing that I got I used to take a lot of uh a video with my action cam this little one we used to take with us in a waterproof case what we did not like about it is that it doesn't have a monitor on the back so it's very hard to see where you're shooting and also it, the sound isn't the best and <clears throat> lately we would try to use it and it wasn't holding a charge and something wrong was wrong with stuff and it wouldn't turn on it was just, we were having a lot of issues so um, I ended up getting a deal on a new one um, which is called the Yai, Y, it's YI light. This is what it looks like. It does shoot in 1080p. There's a monitor on the back. Um, it does do a camera also. And then I also got a, a little waterproof case for it so that we can take it out in the rain or if we're going to be doing stuff at a water park. Um, and I, I really do like it so far I haven't used it I just got it today but um I really think it's going to be a better alternative than this one they're about the same size but you know being able to see what we're video taping is going to be great so that's everything I got in the mail today it's pretty good um I'm going to be working on stuff and I think Marshall's going to be working on stuff for a little while and then my husband gets off at 10 so we're going to get him Friday's almost here, guys. We're almost gonna... It's the weekend. It's Friday night. Finally. Finally Friday night. Um, so, this is what's happening. Marshall gets off around 9-ish. Corey gets off at 10. I came home and decided to edit next week's video because we're leaving in the morning for St. Augustine to do the uh, Night of Lights, which is so much fun. 
I love it. Um, so there, we're going to do some stuff that we haven't really done there before. Like the old jail we've never done. The fort. We, there's like a Spanish house we've never gone to. And then there's a carousel that only costs a dollar to ride. So we were thinking we'd do that. And then we were thinking if we have time, we'll go to the winery and do the winery tour. So um, that's basically what we're doing this weekend. Um, riding the trolley and whatnot. It's a, it's a good time. It's It's very like relaxing. I love love St. Augustine. Um, but we're starting to get to the place where we've done everything there. So we don't really want to spend too much more time. We want to do other adventures. So, um, this might be one of the last times we go for a while. We need to plan trips to like DC and I've never been to New York. So we need to plan those trips instead. But, uh, we are going back to St. Augustine in September. We're just not going to downtown St. Augustine cause we're going for a con. Um, but anyway, I digress. You'll find out all about that when we do our other vlogs. Um, so tonight, my plan, it's about 7 o'clock. So I have a couple hours I need to uh, make dinner. And then I'm going to chill a little bit because I'm feeling really tired and I have to stay up later to get the boys. So I don't want to conk out. So I'm going to eat and watch some TV and just kind of chill a little bit and then go get them. And then we come home, we're going to do a little bit of packing, but most of our packing is going to be done tomorrow morning and then we're going to jet off and it takes about two hours to get there from here um so we we usually listen to audiobooks as we go so i'm really excited to continue because there was a book we started in november i want to say it was in november we started this book and we can only listen to it when all three of us are in the car which is hardly ever and uh, it's the greatest love story ever told by Nick Offerman and Megan Mullally. And we are about halfway through, so uh, we I want to finish it because it's, it's so good. It's so cute, the two of them. It's like sitting there listening to, um, the, you know, like, like you're in the same room and they're just having a conversation. Like, that's what the book is like. It's pretty awesome. Um, I, I went through a weird stage with my books because it used to be that I was listening to audiobooks at work. And then I got to this point where I was, like, starting to watch YouTube videos at work. But my brother and the guy who sits in the cube next to me started uh, listening to this book series called Superpowered. And so since we already had it in our audible queue, I was like, well, I guess I have to make time to, li to listen to these books. And, like, the first book is 26 hours long, and it just gets progressively longer in each book. And I think there's four books in the series, and then there's other books that are in, like, the same world. So I just finished the first one and I have to start on the second one. So I, I'm i back to listening to audiobooks again, which I really kind of like. I mean, watching YouTube, I just don't have a lot of time to watch YouTube. And it makes me really sad that I don't, but I really don't have that much time unless I'm not really bogged down with something at work. And listening to an audiobook means that I can pay more attention to what I'm doing at work. Whereas when I'm watching a YouTube video, it's very hard for me to pay attention to what I'm doing at work and I one of my goals is really to do better at my job just really be more focused and try to get promoted so I can get a better parking space of all things that's why I want to get promoted is so that I can get a better parking space I think I get a pay bump too but whatever I just want to park by my building that's all um anyway so that's what I'm gonna do tonight I'm gonna do my nails and make some dinner I'm watching TV. I wanted to show you this dinner I kind of threw together. This is some asparagus. I won't eat this entire plate. I just will eat what I want and then put the rest in the fridge. Um, I also have for uh, my protein a little bit of this, again, the Trader Joe's egg salad. So I'm going to eat a little bit of that. And then I also have this Trader Joe's vegan kale and cashew and basil pesto which i also have some jicama sticks i'm gonna eat those as well and then i've got my kombucha right there my kombucha so i'm i'm digging this meal um what i did was i basically got a bag of this from trader joe's i microwaved them um for about four minutes and then i tossed them with a little bit of olive oil some salt and also this spice that you can get at trader joe's it's called umami spice and it's like mushrooms and some other things that make it taste really earthy and it's so good i cannot wait to dig in this is such an easy meal oh. 